Hello, good morning everybody. It's another day in El Salvador. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel Backpacking Bananas. I'm currently backpacking through El Salvador in the town of Santa Ana. Now we've been here for a few days now. I'm with some friends in the hostel. <laughs> <laughs> and it's our third day of renting bikes here. It's only $15 a day to rent a scooter here. The first day we went to the volcano and the lake. The second day we did the Ruta de las Flores. And today we are doing the hot springs, which we didn't get to do yesterday. And what else are we doing today? The Seven Waterfalls hike, which is actually very close to where we were yesterday. But you just don't have time to do everything in a day, which is why we're doing it today. So we're just about to leave. We've had brekkie. And the first stop today is going to be the hot springs, no, so let's go. Someone needs to open the gate. Okay, we've all arrived safely at the hot springs. It took like 45 minutes to get here. And we have to pay $1 per person for entry and then $1 per moto to park. So basically $1.50 per person for these hot springs. Ready to go? The road was a little bit bumpy to get here, but like not even half as bad as the road that took us down to the waterfall yesterday. Yeah, it's it was fine. You can't. I don't believe you can get here on bus. I believe you can only get here by scooter because you do go down main roads for the most part, but then the final like five to ten kilometers is down like a dusty road. I really struggle to remember the names of everywhere that we're going because they're all like quite long and complicated <laughs> and we're just going to a lot of them in a short amount of time but these hot springs are called Salto de Malacachupan and the reason why these ones are good is because they're all natural and apparently they are actually hot. Apparently in the area there are other hot springs but are kind of like part of a spa so it's you know it's a bit more expensive to get in it's a bit more of like a, a bougie and put together experience whereas these ones are just out in the wild natural hot springs and look at this wow how do we get down there do we have to slide down the waterfall yeah so we'll go all the way around <laughs> Where should we go? My hair. Every time we take it out from the helmet. Wow, look at this. Like as if this is a hot spring. I mean, this in itself is super impressive just as a waterfall, but it's hot water. How cool is that? Honestly, I've said it before and I'll say it again. El Salvador is the best country in Central America. Mark my word. Okay, just leaving the waterfalls now, or the hot springs I should say, because officially the waterfalls that we're going to are later, but that was so cool. Like really, really amazing. And it was properly hot as well and just really nice to relax in, swim in. Awesome, they do recommend that you go here like obviously either earlier in the day or later in the day just because it gets hot in the middle of the day and so you don't really want to go into a hot spring. So we're leaving this hot spring just before 10.30 um, before our journey to Yawaiwa. But how good, oh my goodness. I'm enjoying this day so much already. Woo. We 
we've arrived in Uaiwa and there's trouble in paradise. <laughs> so Shuni and Raf, who are on one of the bikes, Google took them down a different road, which they've just messaged us and said it was like a dirt road that led to a private property. And so now they have to turn all the way back in order to take the different route. And it was like an hour to get here. And so they're gonna miss the waterfalls tour. I mean, I'm an optimist and I think, no, surely not. Surely there's another way around this, but maybe not. Either way, we need to get the number, but... <laughs> Goodness. Basically, we it's the contact of the same guy who we um, were with yesterday. Because normally these tours only run at 8 a.m. That's what we were originally told, but because we've been able to kind of like book a private tour because there's six of us, it means that we've been able to like pick whatever time in the day. So we are going to be doing the tour without Shuni and Raf, which feels so sad, but they they have given us their blessing. They have said, you guys go on without us because we're not going to make it. We're going to moto to the start destination. I've given my backpack actually to this lovely pastelleria. If you guys are in Uaiwa, come visit Pasteleria y Cafeteria Festival. Because they're really, really nice in here and then they've got some really good ice cream and goodies. I'm gonna come back and get a coffee afterwards. We probably would have left our bags in the tourist information office in Uaiwa, but it's gonna be closed in about an hour, so that's no good. Whereas these guys are gonna be open until like eight o'clock. Yeah, we feel a bit naked now, just like <laughs> without any backpacks. Literally the only thing I have with me. No, no phones, nothing. No clothes, <laughs> this is the clothes we're going in. They're gonna get wet. Yeah, feeling a bit naked. This GoPro is the only thing coming with me, but this is my waterproof one, so it's good. Okay, the Fab Four are off, starting our seven waterfalls hike. I'm excited. This is the attire. I'm literally just wearing my sports bra. I've got my bikini bottoms on underneath these shorts, and then I'm wearing these Tropic Feel shoes because we basically just needed to wear an outfit that we were happy fully, fully getting wet in. So this is the outfit of choice. The weather's a lot better today. Well, it's been good every day, but previously it's been a bit more misty with less visibility. Now we can see the mountains and the volcanoes like with full clarity. It's really nice. Look at these bad boys. Chris is prepared. Number A waiver or anything before this. This is just this is just the health and safety regulations. So. Even told no, no. I did hear something about yeah, a rappel. I did So this is waterfall number five. I really like waterfall number five, but we're not going down there. 
that would be a bit dangerous. This is the final waterfall and you can actually use the mud here to make a mask on your face. See, you have to make a pass and now for the Oh, okay. First make a paste. Like a newborn baby. <laughs> yeah, very soft. Well, yours is not soft just yet. Aún no suave. Necesitas lavar. Sí. <laughs> Yay! Back to the motor. Yo, yo, yo! Thank you, gracias. Hi. Muy bien. You defeat the number four, thank you. Yeah. We didn't go to the Chorros one because obviously we literally just went there yesterday. So that whole hike, I'm going to end it there. We took us one hour and 41 minutes from the bikes back yeah. to the bike. A distance of 2.37 kilometers and 233 meters of elevation gain. Good workout. <laughs> These Chiba buses go past like once every 10 minutes. Uh, very popular in your way up. So we are back here. Um, we're just waiting for our guy to come back to town because we need to pay him. Because obviously we didn't have money like where we finished the tour uh, because we had left our bags in this pasteleria. So everyone's got a few cakes. I've gone for a cupcake and a coffee. And um, we're gonna have that before we head back to the hostel. We've arrived back at the hostel safely at 6 p.m. So it's 6 p.m. which means... Hey! Hi! Hello, backpacking bananas! <laughs> would yes. you like a vodka soda? Yeah, I absolutely would! <laughs> okay, just in time for happy hour. <laughs> 